Hello students, welcome back to Mr. Labor's computing course. Okay, so the task that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be learning about the inputs and outputs of a computing system. So the picture here is a picture of what I want you guys to produce or something very similar. And what it is, it's a computing case which we've got in the center of the picture and then all the way around the outside we've got all the uh, the devices that we would be or could be plugging into that computing case. Um, there's a title at the top and you guys what you're going to do is you're going to also be labeling, putting a label underneath each device to say what it actually is and then you're going to be putting an arrow which goes into the case or it goes out of the case depending on whether that device is an input or an output. So I'm going to explain, I'm going to show you with the first couple down here as to what I mean. Um, let's take the keyboard. Now you need to ask yourself is that an input or an, is that an output? And the way to do that is to um, think about what that device does or what you do with that device. So let's uh, think about the keyboard. And what you do with the device, well, you push keys on the device. So what you're doing is when you're pushing that key, you're sending a signal into the case. That means that that keyboard is an input device, okay? And the arrow is going to point into the, key, into the case. Let's have a look at the monitor here. So what does the monitor do? Well, the monitor shows pictures. And so you've got to ask yourself the question, well, where does it get that picture from? Well, it gets the picture, the monitor gets the picture from the case. So therefore, the arrow, it needs to go from the case out to the monitor. And that monitor then becomes an output device. Okay, so you get the idea. And I want you to do that by going around each of these devices, putting an arrow either in into the case or out of the case. Now it never, arrows never go say between the keyboard and the monitor, that never happens. It's always either into the case or it's out of the case. Okay, so just go around to each of those devices doing that. Um, there is one of them a little bit tricky but uh, you have to think about it and uh, hopefully you get them all correct. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to be doing that on Publisher. So we'll open up Publisher, P-U-B, and then push Enter, and Publisher will open. Now you can either choose a portrait piece of paper or a landscape piece of paper. And I think for this exercise, we'd be better off with landscape. So I'm going to click there, and here's our piece of paper. Now to get your pictures they are on the course outline so if you go back to the course outline and here's the one that we're doing at the moment the inputs and outputs click on where it says images and all these pictures of devices will pop up I'm just going to shrink them a little bit by um, holding the control key down and wheeling out with my mouse so that you can get a better view Okay, so the first thing you can see is that each, um, we've got two of each device. So we've got two cases, two keyboards, two microphones, and two monitors. And you're only going to need one of them. So just choose whichever one you want. Uh, I'm going to uh, start with the case, because the case goes in the middle. And right click on it and copy the image. And then go back to Publisher and paste it. And I'm just going to resize that so it's a little bit smaller and put it in the center. Remember the case goes in the center. Um, and then I'm going to get a keyboard. So I'm going to right click on that, copy that image, go back to Publisher, paste it there, um, resize it, and I'll put it down where it was in the other uh, example. Okay, so now you need to have um, 
an arrow going remember we've decided that the keyboard is an input device so there's going to be an arrow going from the keyboard to the case and to get your arrows if you go up to the insert tab and push uh, shapes and then there's a whole, diff whole heap of different shapes here but I'm just going to use this arrow here and I'm going to make sure that the arrow is pointing in the correct direction and that's looking good and then the other thing is that we need to label under each uh, device what it is so there's a text box here um, and I'm going to put the text box underneath I'm going to type keyboard and then I'm going to select it and make that text a bit bigger because it's a bit small and I'm going to align it in the center so that it looks good looks appropriate you guys make sure that you get this uh, poster looking good which means that everything's got to be centered up so it would be no good if I put the keyboard label out there okay that looks pretty rough and horrible so make sure that that's centered up Make sure that your arrow is nice and neatly coming from your keyboard. I don't want it to be coming like that because that's not balanced. I want you to make a good looking poster. So do that with all the devices. And then the other thing is you're going to need up the top here, you're going to need a title. So go back to your insert tab. Um, you've got word art here. Click on that. You can choose whichever of these that you like. I just prefer going for these simple ones at the top. So I'm going to go for this one. Write your title as inputs and outputs. Um, make sure that you've got capital I, capital O, because we've got to keep got to have it looking good. Go OK. And then you can position that at the top. Make sure you stay inside that blue line. That blue line indicates where your printer is going to print to. So if you put it outside your blue line, then you're going to miss out. The printer's not going to print some of that. So that's the point of the blue line. So keep it inside. And there you go. That's it. All your devices around the outside. Labels as to whether it's an input or it's an output. Um, a label there, sorry, an arrow as to whether it's an input or an output. A label there as to what the device is and that's it you guys so get that done hand your work in and we'll see you guys in the next lesson